All right, we're here with Dr. Patrick Jackson. Uh, he's going to talk to us a little bit about how convocation is going to happen uh, under the COVID pandemic. But first, I think we need to take a second to introduce a new member of the department. Um, that magnificent beard, have you, does it have a name? Uh, uh, Dr. George, I think, has dubbed it uh, uh, Beardy McBearderson or something to that effect, yeah. So um, we're, we're creating a, a 909 number for it now. It's going to have its own tenure track position here at um, CSU. Perfect, perfect. Very we're excited. always glad Very to have excited. a little bit more. And, and you got some around the back there, it looks like, too. You're going kind of full hippie. Uh, yeah, I haven't I haven't actually had a haircut since um, I think March. Yeah, I, I've just I've just stopped. Yeah, I've just kind of, <laughs> yeah. Okay, well, so tell us how is convocation going to happen this year? Well, it's it's of course um, we've been thinking about it off and on all summer, and um, th that is the convocation committee has been thinking about what to do with it. Um, English department has been thinking about what to do with it. It's been, um, we, we, you know, I think we waited almost the last minute to make a final decision because we, we really wanted it to work. Um, we've been very happy with the way that convocation has worked the last few years. But um, of course, with COVID, it's just not, um, with COVID-19 the way it is right now, it's just not feasible to put on these kinds of large events. Mm -hmm. um, and so, um, so w w what we've decided is sort of to just sort of radically reduce it. Um, of course, it's, everything is on an online um, basis. Um, there, there are going to be some um, events. Um, there's, a, there's at least a few that I know of that are, that are being planned or sort of being brewed right now. Um, and when, when we know the details, specifically when we know when those events are going to happen, I'll post those on the convocation Cougar View page. Um, and um, in, in, in some sense, it work just like before. You can show up to the event just over Zoom or whatever platform they're using. Um, and we want to get as, much, as many participants as possible um, on, for, for those events, particularly because there's so few. And actually, particularly because we are so distant from one another right now, um, uh, you know, um, convocation is supposed to bring people together. That's what convocation means. And we've lost that at a time when um, maybe we, we need it more than any, any, any time before. So I really encourage students to come to the events when we, once, we, once they get scheduled. Um, um, take the time. It's never going to be completely convenient uh, whenever they're scheduled. Remember that you're going to have to try to make the time for them, and I think it'll be worth it. Uh, but to your to to your question about you know how things change, there's you know um, we're not requiring that students attend any of these events this semester um, because it just, we just didn't feel that it was sort of fair to do that. And instead of having a um, a big convocation event where we bring you know you know the, the the eighty or hundred or so majors together in a large room, which of course is not not possible right now. Um, we thought of doing a virtual v version of that, um, and I and we are basically planning on having a big major wide meeting um, sometime in the next month or two, right before. Um, registration for spring is going to begin and, and that will be kind of our in lieu of our convocation um, uh, uh, gathering um, but that 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 also will not be required of students you don't you don't have to show up to that what you are required what students are required to do is um, check um, the Cougar View page um, for English 1000 and do that periodically over the course of the semester, and, and at the very least, go onto the discussion board and um, and make a post saying that you you read the syllabus, you understand um, what we're doing this year, um, and um, and 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 post some any questions you might have about about convocation or anything else that's going on in the department. All right. Well, so. Not the same as in the past, of course, but still some opportunity for us to get together and, and uh, 
find out what's going on in, in the department and such. And uh, we'll keep our eyes peeled for those events. Of course, they'll be on the Convocation Cougar View page and also in the Arnold Holler, which will come out on Thursdays. So uh, thank you, Patrick. Thank you, Beardy McBeardson. And uh, thank you, Joe. Thanks for uh, keeping the Arnold Holler going during this time too. I think we, we really need it. So I'm glad, glad it's coming out. Yeah. All right.